Hi, I'm Kelly from CarPart.com, and today I'm going to show you CrashLink's integrated workflow. CrashLink is a tool that gives auto recyclers easy access to OEM-based interchange, part diagrams, and OEM list price information, including price history. It's a great research tool while you're working, and CrashLink is fully integrated with CarPart Interchange Plus. In this video, I'm going to show you the integrated workflow with Checkmate, Bidmate, and Partmate. Let me walk you through it. You can launch a CrashLink search from a few different places in your workflow. When you begin a search, CrashLink will search whichever part is highlighted on the screen. In Checkmate, just press F6 from your search results on your Parts tab. By the way, F6 is the most common F key that recyclers use to open CrashLink, but if it doesn't work for you, our support rep can help you determine what yours is. In Bidmate, while you're evaluating a vehicle, press the CL button. And in Partmate, while you're inventorying parts, you can press the CL button there too. CrashLink searches for the part that was highlighted on your screen, and CrashLink opens in your browser. It lists all of the parts that match your search. If you searched for a part that might be part of an assembly, CrashLink lists related parts as well. On this screen, you can use these checkboxes to select the components that you would like to include in your search. As you can see, this page shows you the OEM number and the most current list price. And there's a web link if you want to search for this OEM number on Google. You might also see a Show All Choices button. CrashLink suppresses parts that don't match your search's interchange, but you can click this button if you want to see them. And when you've made your selections, click Add to your parts. The pricing and information page opens. This is the main CrashLink page where you'll find most of your information and do most of your work. This page shows you the list price information, part applications, and diagrams. Let me show you around. First, I want to mention the most popular piece of information. The total price shows you the total of your list price and sell price columns. The list price displays the current OEM list price. The sell price, by default, is calculated as 50% of the list price, but you can change this if you want to. Just type in a new price, then click Update Your Parts. OK, so you have your part list on the left. Click to select a part in this list, then the rest of the information on this page will update to display information about that selected part. You have a part diagram on the right. If there are multiple diagrams available for this part, there will be a drop-down menu that lets you see them all. Application information displays the OEM applications for this part. Price changes shows you the history of the list price changes. OK, I've shown you the information that you can access. Now let me show you some things that you can do. Click Parts by Image to open a list of all parts in the image. Use this if you want to add a part to your list, just check the parts that you want to add, then click Add to your parts. Now you can see that it's on your list. You can also change the quantity field if you want to change the quantity of the part. Just enter the new quantity and then click Update your parts. I do want to mention here that the list price and sell price that you see are the price per part, so now your total price will count this twice. You can click Web to search this OEM number on Google. And to remove a part from your list, uncheck this checkbox and click Update Your Parts. As you work, you'll notice that your total price information updates with each change. You can use this price information to quote a part or update your price book. For more videos and training materials about CrashLink, visit products.carpart.com. You can also contact your support or sales rep directly, or give us a call at our main office at 859-344-1925.